I am back for week two. So last week we got used to uh, doing some of our core exercises and we just kind of got used to using those muscles again. Uh, this week we're actually going to start getting into a little bit more difficult workouts. Uh, nothing's going to be too hard, but we're going to make sure that we kind of keep progressing, keep getting stronger, add just a little bit more difficulty where we can, and make sure that we are doing it in a way that's safe and that we can get stronger without getting too sore. Uh, so we're going to start last week or this week, just like we did last week. And we're going to end up doing planks. We're going to build up to one minute, but this week I want you to try and focus on making those sets bigger, longer. I want you to hold for a little bit longer. If you had no problems with this, increase your time from one minute to two minutes. But if you really struggled with this one, go ahead and try and keep those holds a little bit longer than you did last week. So if you're able to hold for eight seconds, break, and then eight seconds again, try and hold for 10. Not a whole lot of extra time, just a little bit longer. So what I'm gonna do is I'll set up on my clock and I'm gonna hold for about a minute if I can. Uh, last week I held for about 40, 40 45 seconds. Maybe I'll try for the whole minute. And go. And again, just like last week, you want to keep your elbows just below your shoulders. Make sure your elbows and shoulders are nice and strong. You don't want to kind of sag down um, or get tired. You want your back to be as straight as possible. You don't want your butt up in the air. You don't want it sagging down, everything like that. You can uh, decrease how this feels by adding just a little bit of uh, an angle, just like we discussed last week. If you need to elevate your elbows by doing it on a bed or a couch or something like that, you're gonna go ahead and do whatever it takes, but you just want some tension on that core. You wanna make sure that you're holding and you're able to hold, and the longer you can hold, the better off you'll be. If you Make it so that you don't have any tension. You're not gonna feel a whole lot. Okay, one minute. And again, if you start to feel any pain in your lower back, one, um, stop immediately, but try and reset so that you're doing more of your core. It should be a flexing of the entire core, the front of it, the back of it, the sides, everything. What you're really trying to do is maximize all the muscles in this plank hold. If you haven't figured out the best way to do it, one of the ways to do it is to establish a really nice tight core is you're gonna take a nice deep breath and you're gonna try and push it out through your stomach. So it's not gonna be a hold in your lungs. What you're gonna try and do is force that air out through your stomach. And what that'll do is tighten the entire thing. So as you're holding your plank or your um, whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna make sure that that is nice and tight all around. And that deep breath in, and the pressing out of that air through your stomach um, is gonna help maintain the tightness. So the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do more bird dogs. We're gonna make sure that we're doing these a little bit better Try and reach out as far as possible with those arms and stretch your leg as far away from you as you can. If you were only able to do um, 10 last time, sets of 10, do sets of 10. If you can add on to those three sets and do a fourth set of 10, do a fourth set of 10, or if you can add on repetitions to each set, you can add on a set of 15, three sets of 12 or 15, whatever you can do. But the goal is, being on your hands and knees again. And all I'm gonna do is push my, uh, straighten my right arm out in front of me and my left leg. So opposite arm, opposite leg, and then you're gonna do the other side. Left arm out in front of you and your right leg out behind you. And you're just gonna alternate. And all this is gonna do is help strengthen that back. It's gonna kinda help strengthen those glute muscles, get the shoulder muscles working, all of that core. You wanna keep that core tight while you're doing this. 
A lot of people tend to kind of get lazy and they just kind of sag down while they're doing this. Keep that core tight. Again, try and maintain tightness the entire time you're doing any of these sets. And you just want to keep tension and that tension is going to help increase your strength in this, in this area. So we'll do however you want to do it, but three sets at minimum, three sets of 10 reps each. The next one, we're going to add in a new exercise for us. And this one's going to be called the glute bridge. So this glute bridge is going to start like some of our exercises last week. We're going to be lying flat on our back, feet underneath you, and you can have your head down or your head up. But the goal of this, um, I like to relax my head on the ground and lay it down there, is I'm going to push down through my heels and lift up just my hips. And so all that's going to do is create a lot of tension in my glutes. And so pushing down, creating tension. I don't have to try and arch super high, just enough to get some tension going in there and a nice hold. So squeeze and release, squeeze and release. And that's all this exercise is. The glute bridges are going to be great for working this back portion, the glutes. Again, everything but your arms and legs and neck. That's really what the um, the core is. So we got to we can't forget those glutes. We're gonna do sitting, seating, or standing marches. So the goal is is just to lift those legs off the ground, and you're just gonna lift those knees up. We don't want to march too fast. We want this to be a super controlled movement. So I'm doing them standing, and really what's happening is it's my core, my stomach and my hip flexors that are raising these legs up. That's all that it is. If you cannot do these without any support, go ahead and grab a bar or a beam or just the wall even, and you can hold the wall and just try and hold these marches for as long as you can. If you cannot do this standing, And we will go ahead and grab a box, and you can do them seated. You're just, gonna, you're just gonna lift those knees as high as you can and just hold for just a second. Lift, hold, down. Lift, hold, down. And the whole goal is to use those hip flexors. They're a very strong part of the core muscles that just are often overlooked. They're just kind of on the side here. And as you lift them up, it's really responsible for kind of getting the legs going and providing that stability as you walk along. So the marches will definitely help you out. And as always, when we're done, we are gonna do our stretches. We're gonna do the same stretches every week. It really is the best way to stretch out. So we'll start with our cat cows, you're gonna round the back and then you're gonna arch the back down and round and arch. And you're gonna do this for about three to 10 sets or, or reps, only one set. You don't have to do this three or 10 times unless you really want to and it feels good, but just getting that back decompressed then we're going to do our chair sit, which again, you sit in a seated chair, cross one leg over the other, nice straight torso, and you're just going to bend down over. And that's going to go ahead and stretch that lower back and those glutes. We actually spent a lot more time with those glute bridges. So this will help out a little bit more. With those bridges, those are a fantastic exercise you can do. Some people will elevate their back and they can actually do this with weight. Um, but for right now, first time with them, let's just do them on our own. Um, and that's all we gotta do to get those exercises going. But we'll need some stretching. So this chair sit is definitely gonna help us out. 
And finally, our last stretch is going to be that seal pose. You're going to get in that push up position in the down, and you're just going to stretch out that back, and stretch out the stomach. Ah, and do that for a couple of sets, and you'll be all good. But thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next week.